Hi, I'm David Buckland and welcome to this week's Video Insight. Today I'm being accompanied by Gary Rollo, the Portfolio Manager for the Montgomery Small Companies Fund. And today we're going to talk about the very topical recent run on uranium stocks. Gary, the Montgomery Small Companies Fund has invested in a couple of uranium stocks. Why? Well, David, thanks very much. Uh, okay, we made our first uranium investment in March 2022. We were attracted by the commodity fundamental setup. Uh, attitudes on the demand for uranium changed with decarbonisation investment in energy, where it's clear that nuclear has a role. And we'd seen a decade plus of supply side underinvestment in the wake of the Fukushima disaster that's delivered a material degradation in the underlying commodity production capacity. In our view, that was a great setup for the commodity, so we reviewed our investment options to gain exposure. Why did you choose to invest in Boss Energy, Gary? Great question. Uh, Boss Energy is an Australian uranium developer on the cusp of becoming a producer. We make all our investments on a bottom-up stock picking basis and so having identified uranium as offering a, an attractive industry set of conditions, we wanted to find a stock that met our criteria and in BOSS we had what we thought we were looking for. Its strategy to get to production was the most credible out there. It fitted our key requirement of getting there quickly to take advantage of those good industry conditions that we saw as it's a fast brownfields project restart rather than a long greenfields project new development story. It has also got other valuation relevant advantages. Um, for instance, its jurisdiction is Australia. It had an acceptable permitting status. It's hard to get uranium projects permitted. And it also had the time, at the time the investment was being presented, a low capex to restart. Its funding needed was small and it was based on an uncomplic uh, uncomplicated extraction process. In the end, we're looking for investments that can monetize the industry conditions we see, not be bystanders to it, and Boss Energy had the criteria to tick that box. Gary, in recent months, the Iranian price has super performed superbly. Did you want to just uh elaborate on why that's been the case? Sure. Um, look, the commodity demand and supply side fundamentals are now playing out strongly. Uh, the demand side is driving long-term contracting activity. This is uranium being consumed by utilities in their nuclear reactors. And those, those companies are now looking for supply side certainty because industry conditions are changing and no doubt reflect the current state of energy politics too. So utilities have changed and they are lifting their purchasing behaviour. Purchase contracting activity in 2023 year to date is at levels we haven't seen for a decade. And historically, that's the main driver for the uranium price. The contract uranium price has gone from $40 to $60 over the last two years. And that dramatically changes the project economics for a uranium miner. Supply certainty is much more important than price for these customers with their multi-billion dollar assets. Now, on Boss Energy, its fundamentals have tracked well. Management have delivered on project execution. The updates so far suggest the project's on time and budget. We should see first production from this mine this quarter. And Boss Energy's share price has moved to reflect those industry fundamentals in the uranium market, but also its transition from a developer to a producer. Upside in Boss from here is now much more dependent on the evolution of the contract price of uranium. And Gary, your thoughts on the energy market situation from here? Well, energy still looks like an interesting place for us to make investments because the supply side there looks brittle. And that's a set of conditions we want to exploit. So we're going to continue to look for exposures. In uranium specifically, we must pay attention to the evolution of supply. The rise in the uranium price hasn't gone unnoticed and there are many uranium producer wannabes that have raised small amounts of capital and are looking for a route to bring their projects to market. However, that said, in uranium it's not that easy. It will take time and there are many projects that probably require too much capital or are too complex to permit or process that are not going to find it easy to get funding for production. So we continue to look at the options that are out there for us on a bottom-up basis 
to find the next one a bit like Boss that can make it to production quickly and monetize those strong industry fundamentals we continue to see. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Uranium in a nutshell. Gary, thanks so much for your contribution. And please continue to follow us on Facebook and Twitter.